For 110 years, the American Road and Transportation Builders Association and its members have literally built the path to prosperity for motorists and businesses. We help solve problems and build big things. More than 4 million miles of roads, that's eight times the distance from here to the moon. Interstates, highways, airports, waterways, and more than 8,000 miles of subway and urban commuter rail tracks. You use them every day and they were all built in partnership with federal and state governments. This sophisticated infrastructure network has powered extraordinary U.S. economic growth, creating freedom and mobility for all of us. What most people don't know is that the U.S. transportation design and construction industry is also a critical first responder in times of peril, national emergency, or natural disaster. After the unthinkable happened on 9-11, heroes from the New York City Fire and Police Departments rushed to the scene to help. The men and women of the U.S. transportation design and construction industry also mobilized quickly at ground zero, for it is an industry teeming with professionals who instinctively know what is the right thing to do. Construction companies and their employees worked non-stop digging through piles of steel with their bare hands, hoping to find survivors they would eventually help remove more than 1.2 million tons of debris. Engineers quickly assessed damage to nearby buildings to make sure they were safe. Heavy construction manufacturers sent in massive pieces of equipment which could shear and cut through steel beams. And safety companies provided 65,000 respirators and 1,800 inhalers to protect on-site recovery workers. We are a go-to industry in times of trouble. In summer 2011, Hurricane Irene devastated many of Vermont's roads and bridges, completely cutting off many communities. Yet in cooperation with state officials, it took engineers and contractors just three months to repair and reopen some 500 miles of damaged road, replace a dozen bridges with temporary structures, and repair about 200 altogether. It was bold action and high-tech innovation, the New York Times said. We're an industry that cares about communities and is committed to preserving travel corridors that are critical to the economy and jobs. April 2011, two EF5 storms and a swarm of more than 60 tornadoes hit Alabama, claiming more than 225 lives. Tuscaloosa was hit the hardest. Many of the city's roads were impassable, blocked by debris, utility poles, and power lines. Within minutes, local contractors had chainsaws and heavy equipment on scene, quickly carving paths for ambulances, fire trucks, and rescue vehicles to reach those in need of immediate care. We're an industry of professionals whose quick thinking helped save lives. There wasn't anything unusual about the rush hour commute on August 1, 2007 in Minneapolis, but everything changed in an instant. The I-35 West Bridge over the Mississippi River collapsed, and the nation was stunned. Shortly after the recovery operations were finished and before the debris was completely cleared, engineers, contractors, federal and state officials, and community leaders were planning for a new structure. Free from the bureaucratic red tape that often needlessly delays projects, a state-of-the-art bridge was rebuilt in just over a year. We're an industry that can quickly help stem economic losses and restore a vital daily commuting route for hundreds of thousands of vehicles. Whether it's providing solutions to 21st century transportation challenges or taking action in times of crisis, the transportation design and construction community is always working to build a better and safer America.